And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going somewhere totally different. We're heading off to Henshi Jingyang. Well, you try to pronounce it because I can't, but it's in China. Now this airport is set on top of a mountain or on top of a decent sized hill, certainly. And we're going to go try and land here. It's a really beautiful setting here with it uh, up. Now, I wonder if it is as undulating as it shows in X-Plane, but uh, it's certainly a lot of fun. And jumping back into the Baron again, we're going to do a few landings here. So hang around to the end because we've got... Uh, we're going to do a straight in here and see how it goes. Then we're going to do a circuit. Then we're going to do uh, an evening and night landing as well, just so you get a different perspective. Just magnificent scenery as we fly in. A bit of cloud around today as we head in. So Henchi, I'll just use that, which is um, ZGHC. Um, highly recommend you come visit this. I downloaded the Chinese scenery just to be able to come and have a look here and uh, really was not disappointed at all. It sits up around about 2,200 foot above mean sea level, or 677 meters, and it's loaded. It's located in Guangxi Province. So here we go. It's, as you can see, it's propped on the top of a hill, and uh, does have a reasonable cement airport here. So it's a uh, cement runway. So we're just about on glide slope as we come in in the in the really nice barren. I've got to say, I'm enjoying flying this at the moment but it does not like to go slow it's something that likes to go quick and the time you spend slow you want to make it short and accurate because it will just roll over on you a little bit here we come in over the top and we disappear because it goes down really quickly as we go over the heads so let's try a circuit and give it a go so we've got the uh, Aileron's working just fine. Elevator's working fine. Give them a quick check before we get going. And let's get the power into this thing. And we'll head out and around. So let's give it a flap too. I think might be a good call. Being with a little bit of altitude. A little bit of density altitude, guys. And that always does make a bit of difference to your performance. Now, as you can see here, we're going to go over the top of the hill. And then it falls away. I sort of suspect that wouldn't be the case, but you just never really know. Um, I need to have a look at some real world landings maybe at this airport to uh, know for sure, but um, it's certainly a lot of fun giving it a giving it a go. And we've even got a few Spitfires and Hurricanes out there coming for a fly with us as well. So let's get up, we'll climb out, we'll clean it up, get the gear up. Certainly a very mountainous area, this would be a lot of fun in the winter, I would imagine, if we got to, because it'd be snow here, I'm sure. So we'll climb out, we'll just turn left on our upwind. As we go around, so now this airport was constructed back in 2008, completed in December. The cost of 850 million yuan. So, um, your mission is to run off and see how much that is in your own currency. And a big shout out to everybody around the world. I'm always surprised by where people come from and watch my channel. I really appreciate all you guys. Maybe I need to start saying hello to you in all the different languages that are out there. So we're on the downwind, settling in. And doesn't she look magnificent as she goes roaring past? The engine sound is just really awesome. So back in. Let's get it as we bring the power back. Now we're going to get this thing settled. Now you need to get your flaps and your gear and everything all sorted out pretty quickly and get it trimmed because it uh, it really puts out a lot of drag and it does not like it at all. It just wants to fall out of the air. So you need to keep the power up as you fly around the circuit. And once you've got the flaps and the gear out, certainly you need to keep the, the gear out and the power up. So here we come in on final. This is not looking too good. I'm not too straight on this one. So remember, there's always an opportunity. If you're not happy, go around. 
They're a little bit low and it's not stable and I'm not happy with it. So I think what we should do at this point is, is power up maybe and just get out of here again and then come back for another one. So yeah, that's, that's the option. Don't be scared. You don't have to put it down, guys, even if it's a sim. If it doesn't feel right, you're not stable and you're not on a good stabilised approach, go around, do it again. It's just good practice. Okay, so we're going to shoot around the circuit again. And I think I'll bring, it back, bring us back in, uh, just come in on the final instead of having you sit with me as we duck around again. Look at those hills and valleys. Maybe a fighter and some low level flying around there might be the way to go. Now here we are, a little bit more, a little bit better stabilised. A little bit nose high. As we get the gear and everything all sorted out. And just watch, remember, power is your descent rate. Pitches, speed, power is descent rate. And keep that centre line. Don't be scared to have that centre line right in front of you guys because really it's only a couple of inches between you and the middle and you'll land so much better if you line yourself up down that center line and get you there of course unless there's a lot of wind around you need to offset but for the moment get it down there I'm a little bit off no actually that's a good one it's probably one of my better ones and let it slide away as we uh, as we roll out the brakes on it so this is a pretty substantial airport and uh, the 3D work here is really nice as well. There's a lot here to look at. So let's uh, take, no, let's just take the uh, the view in, okay? Isn't that a nice one? Just put a uh, different skin on this one. There's only a couple to choose from. So here we are coming in in the evening. This one gets a bit of a bounce. That wasn't one of my better ones, for sure. But we're still pretty close to the centre line, so that's all right. Let's go for about seven out of ten on that one. Now here's the night time. You got to remember that night time you really lose your depth of perception. And although most of us do play 2D uh, on monitors, um, you still just it's hard to know when when to get that flare and when to get the power back and get yourself onto the ground really well so a bit hard to see so stick with me as we come in and uh, we'll see how this one goes but really uh, there's some amazing airports around the world I'm going to try and find a few more this it's been a lot of fun looking around so far and there's a few more in China and I'm sure there's going to be some really entertaining ones in maybe the um, Papua New Guinea but finding them might be a bit more of a challenge. You need to spend a bit of time researching and find a couple of those ones on the side of hills. But here we go. We've got uh, we've got two reds and two whites as we come in. We'll try and get this one on the ground in one piece. Now, if you've found the channel as well, guys, so, you know, feel free to subscribe, like, share. Love to hear from you. have been hearing from a lot more people of recent times. It's been really great to hear from you. If you've got any questions, got any suggestions for videos, it's always you're always welcome to do that. We're a little bit right of centre. It's not the best one. But we've got the stall warning, so we know that works. So, great, uh, great lot of fun uh, doing these few circuits. I've spent, obviously, a bit more time flying around uh, this airport. But I thought I would just show you... Um, something a little different a lot of people don't consider flying in in china i don't think. although there are a few chinese people out there so ni hao to you and we've got the uh <laughs> got the hawker hurricane taxiing out so let's head back in we'll park up the uh, the baron and we'll get ready for the weekend this will be friday when you see this one come out so if you're catching it on the first day We get it released on Friday. I try and get them out once a week. Uh, been taking, uh, been really enjoying just taking a little bit more time and trying to get some better videos for you guys. And we're heading up towards a thousand subscribers, so looking forward to that. So again, if you uh, haven't subscribed and you like the videos, please hit that button, hit the bell, and uh, we will catch you back here at Let's Fly VFR for another flight next time. Catch you soon. Bye bye.